What is up guys? Welcome back. It's a little bit late tonight, but we're gonna do it like we used to back in the slumber party days. We're gonna stay up all night and install a pressure relief valve in a transmission. So let's get started. All right guys, so the valve that we have here is a, a Sonax, Sonix, Sonax, Sonaxis, Sonix, something. Valve kit, lube regulator, line to lube, pressure regulator valve, valvey valve, this, this fucking valve, it's a valve. So what this valve is going to do, from my understanding, is it's going to serve the same purpose as drilling the hole in the pump when you would install a HD2 kit. So it's going to relieve some of the high pressure and it'll help the torque converter release properly uh, when there's too much pressure. So it bleeds some of the pressure off. I didn't want to do the modification on the pump when I did the HD2 kit, which is probably a decent idea because that pump is junk and I just put a new pump in there. So this pump I just put in, I don't want to take it apart. Gonna throw the valve in. So this valve will basically serve the same function and uh, I'm gonna open it and stuff. It comes with a paper. How it is installed into the pump. So you have your normal, your boost valve. This is also replaced in the HD2 kit. It comes with some different springs, but the HD2 kit doesn't have this valve that's replaced. It wants you to drill a hole in the pump. So this valve has an orifice in it and this will basically serve the same function. Lube regulated pressure regulator valve. So here's the new valve. Here's a, a factory valve. So this is the factory one. This is the Sonax pressure relief valve. So you can see that there's a, get a little bit closer here. So you can see there's actually a, a hole in the valve. There's a hole here, a hole there, and there's a little channel drilled inside there. Pretty cool deal. So it's gonna bleed pressure back through this section and allow the torque converter to release. So it also says it helps with uh, some idle surging, like if you have a converter that's kind of partially locked up because of the higher pressure from the kit, uh, it may have some idle surge, which I'm kind of curious now, after I did the torque converter and the cam, I had a little bit of idle surge, like about 100 RPM variation when I tried to go low idle around 800 RPM, 850, it wanted to kind of surge a little bit and I wasn't able to resolve it. So I'm kind of wondering if this is going to help me, so let's slap it in and see what it does in like six months. All right, so we're looking at, right now, we're looking at the bottom side of the transmission. I have the, the pan and the filter removed. So if you're curious, if you haven't seen that before, please go back and reference some of my other videos where I remove the pan and do all kinds of things. There's probably like 30 videos on it now at this point. Maybe not that many, but you'll get the idea. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. So this is in the bottom of the pump. I'm gonna take this valve out. This is a boost valve sleeve underneath this snap ring. So I'm going to do my best here to show you guys how terrible I am at getting this snap ring out. We're going to use our, try our best and use this ridiculous tool to get the snap ring on. It's actually kind of popped out now, so I should be able to get it with something. I just pry this off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend these snap ring players. I can't stand these things. They're terrible. So this comes out, snap ring is out, so I should be able to get the valve out now. 
I know this one was a little bit tough to get in because I just put it in there when I put the pump in because it's the original from the HD2 kit. So I'm going to do a weird method here. I'm going to try to grab the pump and pull it out. I'm going to grab the sleeve and pull it out. I have a feeling it's going to be tough to get out of there. Try to protect it a little bit. That was good when you wrap it. Needs a little bit of protection. Sometimes you can just use a magnet and like slam that thing, pull it out, but this one, this one don't want to come out. So I'm gonna keep giving it a whirl here. I have a feeling it's gonna take a little bit to get this out of there, but I'll get it out and I'll come back. Okay, so we have the boost valve sleeve ready to come out. It took a little bit of work, but we got it out. So the valve is actually down right here. So that is the boost valve. And all I'm doing with this is it's just a, a flathead screwdriver with a neodymium magnet on the end of it. So I'm just going to put the valve back in here. And then we're going to continue to pull the rest of the parts out. So there's going to be a washer. Stop trying to be a hero and just grab it with my finger. Washer. There's going to be a green spring. Green spring. There's a little purple spring that goes inside the green spring. And then we have our valve down there that we're going to be replacing. I'm going to put this down on the end again. This is going to fight me the entire way. There we go. So there is our valve that we're going to be replacing. So we'll take the new one. So the new one has the holes in it. We're going to drop this right back down. All the way. And then we'll do basically the exact opposite. Purple spring. Green spring is going to go around the outside of the purple spring. Wash bag. Boost valve. Boost valve sleeve. Push that back down. Might have to get a little friendly with it. Probably have to push this down at the same time that I'm trying to put the snap ring on. Sometimes it'll stay down by itself. Other times it doesn't want to be your friend. Yeah, it goes down with the if you stick your thumb in it, this is going to fight me every step of the way, I guess. I'm trying to do this so you guys can actually see it in the camera, which is probably not going to help. It's probably not going to work at all. Dude, this thing sucks. Look at this crap. Don't ever buy one of these. This thing sucks. That's my product review. Now I'm going to go under the truck and try to find that fucking snap ring. Okay, so we're going to try this again. We got a little, a different end on it. And it's the one that comes down at a 45. And we're going to try this thing. Give it a swirl. There we go. A little bit better. Now that's in there. That should be done. Next I'm going to put the filter back on 
And that should be it. We'll put the pan back on. Pan gasket. First. Pan. And this should be the last little bit of this uh, rebuild that I should have to do with this transmission. So that's the last piece. I'm just waiting on the torque converter and the drive shaft yet to come in. Uh, I did want to do this because I wanted to see if it was actually going to help my surging issue or any other converter issues I was having. I don't really think I was having issues, but I want to see if mainly if it's going to fix that little bit of idle surging that I did have that I couldn't resolve. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'll put a link in the description for where I bought it. It was like $50. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for it. I'm going to throw these bolts back in. So yeah, sorry guys, the videos have not been very eventful lately. Just kind of been taking care of a lot of stuff. So, you know, waiting on the drive shaft and the torque converter and all that other stuff. So hopefully in the next few days, I should be here getting word on the drive shaft and getting all that stuff pretty much ready, ready to rock. So I don't know how long that torque converter is going to take. They said it wasn't going to take that long. So maybe I'll be hearing something from them in the next couple days also. Uh, I'm probably going to maybe tomorrow start working on installing the, the new fuel pumps and all that other stuff. So that'll be something for you guys to see. The good news is, I also think I'm pretty sure I know what is going on with the transmission in the Explorer, so it's probably going to be a cheap fix. So I might be able to do it for like 200 bucks and not even have to pull the transmission. So I'm going to try that. So that'll be another video coming up pretty soon. We got a lot of other stuff going on, so stick around, subscribe if you're new, comment if you hate me and tell me all about it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.